They are creating a tremendous atmosphere. On a day like this, in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be with or without the rain. This place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibel spared in this collective chorus. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition, and we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. You've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? I'm going to pick Joe Moutinho. Um, I call him the ferret because he can slip into places and cause trouble before opponents can react. Loves to get between the lines and up to meet it! Good delivery, but no joy. You really could have done with engaging those crossers much higher up the pitch there. This isn't good defending. Moutinho and Ricardo Orta no oh, he's overshot the green it's been a pretty frantic start a lot of front foot pressing Karabakh are enjoying the line, share of possession, but nothing yet to show for it. Long ball by the goalkeeper. Michel Moutinho. Acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Well, that's down to a simple miscalculation. No more, no less. Oh, really good feet. And that's been one straight back. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. There's the clearance. Over to the left. Oh, that was expansive and incisive. The type of move to play. Real chance! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, we can't question the quality of the run. He'll have to answer for the rest. 
No, no way he was going to let him past. Out to the left it goes. Strong running down that left flank. Oh, that's really good. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, it has been a half largely of could have some should haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel they're over to a goal. But it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil-nil. <laughs> What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. There's the start of the second half. Karabaj can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Just eases him off the ball. And here's Jao Moutinho. Bruma. It's run loose here. Chance to break. Played out to the left flank. Can he finish? That's a fine save. Well, as test goal, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. this Sporting Braga can counter promptly here spread neatly gets away from his opponents Bruma can he get away here now there's a fine ball goal kick as confirmed by the referee with intent good spot he's seen the run deserve an awful lot of credit for their commitment to the cause, but it's a goal credit that would be most welcome now. That's a good run down the left. Looking for options for movement. 